In the elephant enclosure, Harry wants to play. But Bala doesn't seem interested. For days, Bala's been showing signs of being unwell. Tests have confirmed she's contracted the herpes virus. All of us have it in the back of our mind that it's, that it's a good possibility that it might turn up at some point. Um, but when it does turn up and you get confirmation from the labs that, that this is what you're dealing with, it's a bit of a, a blow. All you can do, really, is just keep getting the drugs in and let the other elephants look after her, really. And there's not much we can do for her at that stage. And just hope that she, she pulls through it and gets through it. Bala's condition continued to deteriorate. She died that evening. We discovered that she'd, uh, she'd gone overnight, so... We're all... Uh... We were all pretty devastated, really. You know, after she had died, um, Harry's trying to trying to get her back up. You know, it's, it's trying to get quite, her back on her feet. Yeah, it's quite heartbreaking to watch. Quite an extended you know, but... period as well. So we we picked that up on the cameras overnight. The animal that's suffering most is Harry because the bond between the calves. I think is as strong and not stronger than the bond with the mother. Those babies are inseparable. Harry's missing Barla. That sounds like anthropomorphic, but he is, he's missing. He, he's a little bit lost without his, without his buddy, because he's always with her. And you know, and that's, and I think he's probably suffering more than, than anybody else's. I think with the death of a, a Barla, Tragic though it is, when all these elephants die and they go for post-mortem, they do get information out of them. And, um, you know, they say someone needs at some point, or someone will. There's a lot of people working on it now. Somebody will get a handle on this virus. we just got to keep going and hope that we can emotionally deal with keeping going. <laughs>